Hello, this is Quick Skills, and today we're going to be doing a review of all the Nintendo systems and ROMs included for the Super Console X2 Pro. This is a retro console that I have reviewed on my channel, so if you are interested to see how it performs, look for that video. Also, if you're interested in purchasing this device for yourself, go to the description of this video. I will put a link that will take you to the exact AliExpress listing where you can find this retro console for sale and buy it for yourself. And so let's start off first by scrolling through all the systems included in the Super Console X2 Pro. So we have the Game & Watch, we have the Famicom, the NES, NES Hacks, Family Computer Disk System, Game Boy, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo Hacks, N64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. And so that's going to be all the systems that are included, but if we scroll through here, you can see all the ROMs that come included. What's really cool about this is that you will be able to jump in and play some games that you really like. So for Game Boy Advance, I'm betting that it's going to be the Pokemon games. That's a, uh, a game that a lot of people really like. Now, since this is going to plug into your TV, it's not going to have the portable nature of the Game Boy Advance, but I have played a lot of these games for myself, and I can tell you they do work, and they work well. So let's jump right into a game. Let's jump right into a Pokemon game, since I know many people will want to play this to play Pokemon. So let's start off with Fire Red. And after that long introduction, we are finally able to walk around. And you can see here, I am walking around and playing Pokemon for the Game Boy Advance on the Super Console X2 Pro. What's really cool about this is that when you're ready to exit, all you do is hit the hot key and we can save the game. So that way, later, when I'm ready to play this game, all I have to do is push the same buttons to load this screen and hit load state and it'll take me right there. So let's jump into the rest of the Game Boy Advance because I wasn't done scrolling down, but look at all the ROMs included here for the Game Boy Advance. There's a ton of games for the Game Boy Advance that you'll be able to play from the comfort of your living room with the Super Console X2 Pro. And if you want to see on the left hand side of the screen, you can see 1695 games. So if we scroll over to Game Boy Color, we have 1,495 games. We can jump into a game and test it out ourselves, but let's scroll through that list in case there's a specific category or name, but 1,400 games is no joke. That's a lot of games on here. And if you have a quick save saved, you can jump right into the game. I did not prepare one for this video. However, any of these Game Boy Color games are gonna load up pretty quickly. Like, let's, let's try Tetris, that should be pretty easy. So here we have the Game Boy Color. You can see the picture's kind of stretched out a little bit. If you want it to be the way you remember it with uh, the different uh, size screen where it's not stretched out, all you have to do is configure uh, one of the settings and it will make it to where it's not stretched out. And I'm trying to get into a game here. There we go. All right, so here we are playing Tetris for the Game Boy Color on the Super Console X2 Pro. And what's kind of cheating is that once you're here, you can quick save. Oh, wrong button. We can quick save. So that way, if you mess up, you just need to rest your eyes for a minute. You can load right back in where you left off and not have to go through the menu. So that can be a neat little feature to use between levels if you're trying to get better at Tetris and not want to have to go through all the loading screens. So let's move on to the next console. Here we have the N64. The N64 has 256 games. This isn't a complete list of all the games. And I will warn you that the N64 was notoriously hard to load. You can see here I have Super Mario here. Let's see where my quick save is. I don't have a quick save on it, so I don't know why it's up there. Normally I only put games up there that I have a quick save for. But let's jump down to Legend of Zelda, because that is a game that I recall playing on this device. And I should have a quick save on it. Okay, so we're playing The Legend of Zelda Master Quest on the Super Console X2 Pro. As you can see, the graphics on here are pretty good. This is kind of in, in what you would expect for the N64. There are some emulators that will polish up the console quite a bit. This is not the case with this one. 
but we are playing the game and there is a little bit of pop in right here on the tree you can kind of see that artworks kind of popping in and out but overall the speeds good I don't see any any latency issues we're able to play the game controls are exactly where you would expect them to be on the N64 the buttons the yellow buttons are gonna be the right joystick on the controller I don't have anything in those categories yet but if I wanted to use a stick or a Dooku nut oh we could do a uh, Navi so to do Navi all I did was push up on my right joystick and that's how these consoles emulate the yellow buttons so let's move on to another game a lot of people are probably gonna want to buy this system to play Super Mario 64 I will caution you though that it does not handle very good on this console so let's see it in action so I don't know what it is about Super Mario 64 but it does tend to be one of the games that's harder to emulate I've played it on various different emulators and ROMs and sometimes it's not even the, the computer but I will tell you the Super Console X2 Pro is probably the, the issue here but you can see some pop in on the castle window it's really noticeable right there but if you are looking for a Super Mario 64 experience there are going to be better devices that will play this I did not notice this many issues with Orcarina at time so keep that in mind but it is handling very nicely if you ignore some of the graphical issues there is no frame rate issues uh, the buttons are very snappy um, aside from some graphical pop in and out I am on the first level of Super Mario 64 and uh, from, some, from some minor differences it is handling as nice as you would expect it for a retro console with limited graphical capabilities let's move on to another console here we have Super Nintendo hacks this is a fun category these are Super Nintendo games that have been hacked to have some kind of change to them I did a review of the Super Nintendo games included on here on a different video so if you want to watch that you can we're gonna go ahead and skip over to another one here we have the Super Nintendo again I just reviewed this on another channel uh, on another video it does work very well uh, but if you do want to see this in action go look for that Super Nintendo uh, here we have the Super Famicom these are Japanese versions of the game so there's gonna be some slight differences in the number of ROMs included on here but there are a lot of ROMs we have 14,000 ROMs under Famicom we have under Super Nintendo 3,700 under Super Nintendo hacks we have 379 here we have the original Game Boy the Game Boy has 1500 ROMs and so you are definitely gonna find games that you like on here well, let's take a look at Yoshi Cookie. And what's great about playing this on a screen is that it's still black and white. And it is widescreen here, but you can change that if you don't want it to be stretched out. Let me show you how that works. We can go back to the main menu. There is a video called Tips and Tricks for this device. But what we're going to do is we're going to do aspect ratio, and it's going to be 3 4, I want to say. We do 3 4. Now, every time we load this game up, it's not going to be widescreen anymore. It won't stretch out the picture. And actually, I think it's 4-3 is what we're looking for. That's for a vertical game. Switch it to 4-3. If you're in doubt, you can always look online to see what aspect ratio Game Boy games are supposed to be in, and uh, it will not stretch out the picture. So this is supposed to be what the Game Boy is supposed to look like. The Game Boy Advance had the same issue when I had the screen loaded up, so if you wanted to change the aspect ratio, you could. That looks a lot better, less stretched out. So this is uh, Yoshi Cookie on the Game Boy. Now the system you all have probably all wanted to see in action is the Nintendo Entertainment System. The graphical prowess of this game is second to none, but here we have Super Mario Brothers. All the games on here work. If you're looking for a Nintendo NES player, you don't have one already, this is the best way to play Nintendo games. They work really good. And I knew I was gonna die to the first Goomba. That's like the rule one of this game, don't die to the first Goomba, and I did it. So I have failed you and everybody watching this video, sorry for that. But as you can see here, we have Nintendo uh, Mar uh, Mario Brothers for the NES. 
get that free man here to make up for that loss. And I could literally sit here and play the whole game. I, I love this game. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the NES hacks and there's going to be some Mario hacks on there. We have a total of 1500 games for the NES and then 2600 hacks. And if we go to Super Mario Brothers, we'll find some of those really hard Mario games. They're going to be in here. So if you've ever seen them on YouTube where they're like impossibly hard, there's also for the Super Nintendo, you'll find them in there. There's a ton of hacks on here, but I just wanted to show you one of the hacks in action. So here we go. I'm just going to pick one at random. What is this? Serious Mario? Okay, I, that screenshot looked a little different than, <laughs> than what I loaded up into. But you can see here we're playing Mario. Um, this uh, level is custom made. Oh, and I, and I lost. And I lost to a Goomba, the first Goomba, again. And it looks like you start off with a little bit more lives. I have eight lives to start off with. Oh god, okay. Well, this isn't even as hard as it looks, but I just wanted to show you the hacks on here. I'm just not very good at these games. And so, we do have the, the disc system on here. I never did play the disc system, but if you are interested to see what those ROMs are, you can see they are included on here. And that's really going to take us through the collection of NES or Nintendo games, systems and ROMs for the Super Console X2 Pro. If there's a particular game you want to see in action and see if it works, all you have to do is drop me a comment. I'll be happy to look into it for you. But you can see here, there's just so many games on here that it's impossible to review them all. There's 2,700 games under the, uh, the Famicom, the Japanese release of the NES. There are going to be a lot of duplicates as a result. Uh, one thing you'll see here is the Game & Watch. They do the Game & Watch quite nice. So, so here we have a Game & Watch game. The controls are a little wonky. You have to find the right button for each of them. And it's basically just a picture of every possible screen you can have for the Game & Watch. But this review is pretty much done. We've gone through every single system and ROM on here. If you have any questions about this device, please be sure to leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching.